behind this, if you see the gray curtain, behind that curtain is my storage and I need to declutter and I need to, to sort into eBay, Etsy, uh, donate, yeah. Welcome back to part four of my declutter and list, eBay, Etsy, whatnot. No, not whatnot. <laughs> but anyways, this is the fourth video and I'm still in the same nice socks and I'm still, it is a mess because I have filmed all four videos in one go. So to my left is what I need to list. To my right is what I am going to uh, give to consignment or sell consignment. And not sure if I have this listed and I have it listed on my Norwegian app. It is, can you see that? In where? It is a European size 40. It is a sleeveless dress with this very flattering waistline, this cross almost ruched. And it is, uh, I think, knee length. It seems black. But the can you see the difference between the tag and the fabric? The tag is black. The dress is dark, dark, dark blue. This is the back. It has a, like this zipper going all the way up, all the way down. And yeah, this is a nice one for the holidays. New, New Year's party. I will list this one, a cycling, winter cycling jacket from Paria, nice one, you can see the, and it has like this geometric nice print on the long sleeve, it has a black front with the print in on the sides and of course being a cycling jacket it also has the pockets three pockets in the back and a true true brand has a print inside the pockets and it has this non slip thing in the back and let's see as you can see it is like a fleece thing inside and uh, it's nice for um, like uh, fall and spring and also you could use it in uh, winter time <clears throat> size large and it is a woman's size large and I will list this Okay, M79, and here's a pair of men's pants I thought I had sold, and here it is, didn't sell. So, a nice thing that I go through this. DSO, is that a brand you know? It is a very nice brand here in um, Scandinavian part of the world. Lots of tags. Let me see if I can find the measurements. It says on the tag, I guess. Um, where does it? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Can you see that? Size 26. So I will include the measurements if I choose to list them. I might do consignment. I'm not sure. But it is a normal um, men's pant. Yeah, not sure what I will do with this one. Not sure what I will do with this. I will check, maybe consignment. And maybe I will list. 
I don't know a lot about, about Supreme, but I heard it's semi okay. M343, and oh, this is a Joseph Ribkoff. A vintage Joseph Rid Ribkoff. Let's uh, say that 10 times. And he has this gigantic and you know almost like paper tag to it so it is a it has a lot of information on the lot number made in canada okay and u.s size 10 mexican size 10 german size 38 uk size 12 what more? Dry clean only. So it's amazing. It is paper, almost paper. But what is <clears throat> special about this piece is that it is a, first of all, it is a very short sleeve. It has, yeah, it has just one button. You can see there are some wear to that button. And it has some, what's this? Some details on the front, but only one button in front. And you can see there are some wear to this as well. And it is shoulder pads, shoulder, what's it called? <laughs> and the back has like a, not a keyhole, but like this opening with these two. So as I said, it is, and it has like a an asymmetrical shark, I don't know, um, at the bottom. I think I will list this because it is a nice brand. It has some wear and it is, but it is vintage and it is in great condition actually, except from the wear on those uh, metal pieces. So Joseph will be up in the store sometime oh this is a big book it is a it has some flaws and whatnot i think i will just i will not open i will just put it in containment or maybe donate this as well this is gustav this is a um, very expensive brand but unfortunately i was half drunk no i wasn't but i was half asleep when i bought this one because even though it is a a very expensive brand from my part of the world it is missing a button here on the shoulder and there are some it is missing a button here at the front and i know it is uh, it doesn't have any other extra buttons. So this is, as I said, a very nice and expensive brand, but it has too many flaws. I'm not sure what to do with it. I will check it. It's, you know, if I sell it for a very low amount, then who would want to buy the shipping? it <clears throat> this is the back you have this um take those two buttons to the front but then you wouldn't have the different sizing in the back so i'm not sure i have to do some research about this it is as i said i think tunic tops or blouses like this is easily 250 dollars from this brand so research, I have to do some research. N67, I think this is just a, a uh, normal boutique brand. This is consignment because it is not a fancy, expensive brand at all. It is scotch and soda. Look at that tag. It's leather tag. 
It is a nice pair of men's pants. It's the tie. It's from, it says Amsterdam blue, but it is a very nice brand. It has a lot of details, you know, M and M W. Let me see the size is width is 34 and length is 32. Yeah, so Scotch and Soda is a nice brand and it is a an okay size, 34, 32 and it has, it is a very nice pair of pants. Yes, I will list this for sure and um, I'll check the comps for what they sell for. It is, yeah, a great one. So that was N done and we have had nothing in N was listed before. Amazing. So O is a bin that has some pieces that are listed like this one. That is O60 and I am amazed that this one doesn't have more viewings because it is we know that brand. It is a size small. It is a cardigan with this lovely print. Look at this. And it has mother of pearl buttons on them. It is a side pocket on one side. It is a long length sleeve. And it is organic cotton as almost always in this brand. Look at that. Look at those colors, you know. So this is listed and I'm amazed it hasn't uh, had more views to it. This is 06216 and I haven't listed this. I should. It's nice. Look at that color. Look at those colors. Um, I mean... It makes me happy to see this one. It is a skirt and it is like a, uh, if you see the top here is stretchy. It's a waistband almost of stretch on top. So it would be nice if you're pregnant or if you, yeah. If you, if you want the um, high waist uh, clothing, this is nice. And uh, yeah, this is the, print and this is the bottom part so very nice and the brand is milieu this is a norwegian brand and uh, it is a nice brand it's a i think they're out of business i think so anyways lovely 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 i don't think people know too much about this and that's why maybe I have this listed I have to check but it hasn't had any interest I think maybe it's listed on Etsy anyways it is a nice one and I will list it on eBay if I ha haven't already you can see it is dark colors nice nice texture nice print and it is a brand I've told you about before Ilse Jakobsen this is a large and an extra large, and it is not a typical Ilse Jakobsen uh, print, but it is for sure her quality. It is, oh my, it's so nice. The tag is cut out, so that's the problem. So if I sh would, you know, I don't know, it's, it's some sort of stretch, that's for sure. It is, I think, maybe some part is viscose and some part is, I don't know, I have no idea. And I can't find much about this on online. And uh, yeah, I think I will list this, even though it doesn't say much. Because it is Ilse Jakobsen and she is, she always makes great quality. And, and I say 
always next plate quality. <laughs> oh, okay. 18. What are you? Don't recognize you. Oh, this is a um, Gudrun Chaudin scarf that is not labeled in any way. So you won't know it's her. And uh, it is. It is linen. And it is listed. Okie dokie. Oh, 103. And this is a Danish brand as well. And this is maybe one of the <coughs> more expensive Danish brands. Gestus large and it is a waistcoat like a vest a long one with some you know i don't know what you call it when they are asymmetrical down here but it is five buttons it is with pockets this one is open so i guess you could open this as well it is not open but look at this uh, well it's not easy to see, but this is a very high-end brand from Denmark. Go ahead, buy it if you want something special and nice. This is just a new with the tags hoodie and I will put it in consignment without opening it. This is a Fisher, it's an active wear, like a brand for cross-country skiing. And I will put this as well, sorry, in consignment. This one is a plus size jacket, blazer, that I don't know much about. It is a now on and it is brown with a lot of embroidered details in front. It has these buttons that are like yeah, like plastic thingy. <clears throat> it is a very nice, it has shoulder pants, so I guess it is vintage. That's the cuff, and as I said, nice with some small pearls or some small beads. So it is a very nice uh, blazer <clears throat> with pockets, but the brand is not easy to find or research. It's a size 44. That would be a XL double XL and it is a generous size so this would be I think I will list this even though I can't find any a lot of information about this okay <clears throat> so this was the Gustus uh, Danish waistcoat coat vest and this was the milieu from Norwegian and this was the Gudrun Schöden. And this was the Gudrun Schöden without tags. So we have four that are listed. And we had none that were listed in the other bin. And that's all for today. I think maybe we are down to about 20 minutes. And that's good. And I am not looking forward to tackling the pile on my left. Because that is what needs to be photographed, measured, and listed. Anyways, we need to do it. So have a nice uh, day and I will, not sure if I will do more, yeah. Maybe I will take a break and list and do what I need to do because my, my living room is a mess and I need to tidy up so we have <clears throat> we have done eight bins in these four uh episodes and we have two 
four, six, eight, eight more behind the curtain and a lot of hard goods and shoes and a lot of death pile. And then we have four more bins in a storage area, you know, in, in a closet here in the apartment. So we have a lot to do, but we are, um, we have done a lot. Thank you for watching and I will probably have on different clothes than these comfy clothes the next time you see me and maybe the angle is different because I will be filming another day. I need to take advantage of the light outside now. It looks dark in the screen but it, it, behind me I have a lot of windows so I need to photograph, I need a list and yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!